all five of the exercises on this side of the record are for firming and streamlining and for developing good muscle tone without strain. Now, the overhead squat. In a standing position, gracefully place your palms together and rest your hands on your head, as in figure 39. Note the symmetry and the grace of the arms. Now, in slow motion, bend your knees and begin to lower your body, as you see in figure 40. Now continue to lower slowly until you have come down as far as you can without losing your balance, approximately as in figure 41. There is no hold in this exercise, so now in continuous motion begin to push up very slowly, staying on your toes all the way as you push up until you are once again in the erect position, but now on your toes as in figure 42. Now come down and rest the soles of your feet on the floor as in the beginning position. Keep your hands overhead and listen a moment. In addition to firming and strengthening, these excellent ballet type movements will develop a wonderful sense of balance, grace, and poise. Attempt to feel the beauty and the symmetry of your body throughout this exercise. Now this is not a calisthenic type deep knee bend. All of the movements must be done very slowly. Now let's repeat. We'll go down in a count of ten and then come back up in ten. Ready? Begin to lower. One, two, stop whenever you feel you may lose your balance. Six, come down as far as you can without endangering your balance. That's ten. Now, without pause, begin to push up. Two, three, gracefully, and stay on your toes all the way up. Seven, eight, all the way up on your toes. Ten. Now, come down on the soles of your feet. Now repeat. Ready? Lower. Two. Three. Fall gracefully. Six. Seven. As far as possible. Nine. Ten. And push up. Two. Three. Four. Gracefully. Six. Seven. Eight. All the way up on your toes. Ten. Now come down on the soles of your feet. Good. Now. Bring your arms gracefully down to your sides and relax. Now, the all fours exercise. Place yourself in the all fours position of figure 43. Make sure that your toes rest on the floor as illustrated. Now, without moving your feet, lean forward and now slowly raise yourself as high as possible, slowly. This is the position of figure 44. Let your neck go limp and hold this position without motion for 10, 2, 3, 4. Now your neck is limp, 6, your head hangs limply there, 8, there's no motion, 10. Now. Slowly lower yourself to the starting position. Remember that this is not a calisthenic type push-up. All of the movements are performed very slowly with balance and control. Now, let's repeat. Ready? Lean forward. Raise yourself as high as possible. And hold. Two, three. Your neck is limp. Five. Let the blood get in there. No motion. Eight, nine. 10. Now, slowly lower yourself as before. Knees touch the floor. And let's repeat. Ready? Lean forward. Raise yourself as high as possible. And hold. 2, 3. The neck is limp. 5, 6. There's no motion. 8, 9, 10. Now, slowly lower as before and repeat. Ready? Slowly raise yourself as high as possible. Good. 
and hold two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, friends, hold that position and let's attempt a more intensive stretch. So, from the position you're now in, move only your feet and slowly walk in as far as possible without strain. Okay, if you can, try to rest your heels on the floor, as in figure 45. That's a wonderful stretch for the legs. Now hold your extreme position, whatever it is, for 10, 2, 3. Once again now, the neck is limp, 6, and there's no motion, 8, 9. Okay, good. Now, come down slowly so that your knees rest on the floor. Now, sit back easily on your heels and relax. Now, the side raise. Look at figure 46. Now, lie on your left side and place yourself in this position. The legs are together, your left hand supports your head, and your right hand is firmly against the floor. Now, slowly raise your right leg as high as you can, slowly, as in figure 47. Hold for five. One, as high as you can. Two, three, four, five. Now, slowly lower the leg. Okay, that's relatively easy. Now, let's raise both legs as in figure 48. Ready? Push down hard with your right hand and raise both legs up as high as you can and hold it. Two, three, put a lot of energy into that. Five, now slowly lower. Okay, and now rest a moment. Friends, you must attempt to bring your legs up directly from the side rather than allow them to move forward or backward. Also, remember to keep your legs together and touching all the time they are raised. Now, let's repeat once more, and this time, give it your best effort. Ready? Now, raise both legs straight up from the side as high as you can. Hold. And two, and three, and four. Five. Now lower slowly, slowly. Don't collapse. Slowly. Okay, good. That's a marvelous movement for firming. Now let's do the identical movements on the right side. So now lie on your right side in the same starting position. Now slowly raise your left leg as high as possible. High as possible, and hold, two, three, four, five. Now, slowly lower your left leg. So now those muscles are warmed up. And now both legs, ready? Push down hard with your left hand, raise both legs straight up and touching, and hold, two, three, four, five. And now slowly lower. Right? And now, once more, with your best effort. Friends, just simple repetition of these movements will develop fine muscle tone for you. Ready? Push down and raise both legs straight up and touching as high as you can. Okay, and hold. Two, if you have to struggle with it, that's quite all right. Four, five, and lower slowly, now slowly. Okay, everything done slowly here. Good and relax. Now, the back push-up. Lie on your back, as in figure 49. Place the soles of your feet firmly on the floor with your heels in toward you as far as possible and your hands are also pressed firmly against the floor. Now, push against the floor with your hands and feet 
and now slowly raise your body a moderate distance as shown in figure 50 moderate distance hold two three four no motion six seven eight nine ten now lower yourself slowly slowly okay now let's repeat and let's go up as high as you can without strain ready first friends arch your neck so that the top of your head rests on the floor as in figure 51 that gives you more leverage to get up higher all right now once again push down and raise yourself slowly this time as high as possible slowly okay good hold two three for a count of ten five six as high as you can eight nine ten now slowly lower come down slowly all right and relax for a moment friends for best results keep your knees together when raising and also breathe deeply once you're in that raised position now let's repeat ready arch your neck as before so that more of the top of your head is on the floor and now slowly raise yourself as high as you can knees together and hold one two three breathe deeply now five six with a complete breath eight nine ten now slowly lower good friends note again the repetition of the word slowly in all of these instructions slow motion control and poise are the keynotes of yoga exercising now repeat ready arch your neck as before and now raise as high as you can knees together and hold two three breathe deeply five six seven eight nine ten now slowly lower good and let's repeat a last time ready arch your neck this time give us your best effort raise as high as possible knees together and hold two three breathe deeply five six seven no motion try to hold still nine ten good now slowly lower stretch your legs out bring your arms back down to your sides and relax and now the lie down sit up series of movements a wonderful yoga firming routine sit on your mat with your legs outstretched together in front of you now sit with your spine erect this is the starting position now the first part of the exercise consists of lying down without the aid of your arms if possible as seen in figure 52 therefore try not to use your arms and now slowly lower your trunk to the floor ready do that now slowly lower continue to lower slowly until your back rests on the floor good now without pause bend your knees and bring them in toward your abdomen ready do that now knees in now as in figure 53 slowly straighten your legs upward slowly straighten upward into the air and now lower them to the floor in a count of five one two follow my rhythm three four five now your legs rest on the floor now without the aid of your arms if possible begin to raise your trunk from the floor with your arms outstretched as in figure 54 of course if absolutely necessary friends you use your elbows to help you rise now as you reach the upright sitting position continue moving forward slowly with your arms outstretched and now take hold of the furthermost part of your legs you can reach your calves your ankles possibly even your feet now get a good grip 
and gently pull your trunk down slowly as far as possible without strain. And you'll see that in figure 55. Now, hold that position for five, two, no motion, three, four, five. Now, release your legs and slowly straighten up to the beginning position. And now that you know the routine, let's repeat the entire series of movements. And remember that they're all done with a great deal of poise and control, like a dance. Ready? Once again, begin to lie down as smoothly as possible without the use of your arms if possible. Of course, if this is very difficult, you may temporarily use your arms or elbows to help lower yourself smoothly. Now. As your back rests on the floor, slowly bend your knees and bring them in toward your abdomen. Now slowly straighten your legs upward. And now lower them to the floor in a count of five, two, follow my rhythm, four, five. Now begin to raise your trunk from the floor as smoothly as possible and stretch your arms straight out. Now as you reach the sitting position, continue forward and now take a firm hold of your calves or your ankles or your feet and now gently put your trunk down as far as possible and hold two three four five now release your legs and slowly straighten up and now without pause we'll repeat the entire routine once more ready very smoothly begin to lower your trunk to the floor now as your back rests on the floor, slowly bend your knees, bring them in toward your abdomen. Now slowly straighten your legs upward. Now lower them to the floor in a count of five, two, three, four, five. Now begin to raise your trunk as smoothly as possible from the floor, stretch your arms straight out. Now you reach the sitting position, continue stretching forward, and now take a firm hold of your ankles or feet, and you should now be able to reach down quite far. Gently pull yourself down as far as possible and hold. Two, no motion. Three, four, five. Now release your legs and slowly straighten up. Rest your hands on your knees and relax. Now a special group of six important yoga movements to massage and stimulate seldom exercised areas of the body. Perform these six movements, the elbow exercise, the shoulder exercise, the neck exercise, the lion, the eye exercise, and the scalp exercise in continuous movement, just as instructed if you possibly can. Now, assume a seated posture for these exercises. A half or a full lotus is good if you are able to do those positions. All right, first, the movements for the elbows. Now, stretch your arms out in front of you and bend your elbows as illustrated in figure 56. All right, friends, the arms will be snapped out in a quick, forceful movement as in figure 57 and then quickly return to the starting position and we'll do 10 of these movements. Ready? Now, snap out, return. Snap out, return. Out, return. Out, return. Very forceful. Return. Out, return. Out, return. Out, return. Out, return. Out, return. All right? Now, for the shoulder joints, the shoulder raise. Clasp your hands behind you, as in figure 58. Keep your spine straight. Now, very slowly, raise your arms as high as possible without strain. Straighten your elbows if you can, as in figure 59. Now, hold your extreme position without motion for five. One, two, spine straight. Four, good, five. Now, slowly lower your arms, but keep your hands clasped. Now, let's repeat. Ready? Raise your arms and straighten your elbows if possible. Hold. One, two, the spine straight. 
four, five. Now, slowly lower. And we'll repeat once more. Ready? Slowly raise your arms as high as you can. Your best effort this time. Straighten your elbows if you're able to. Hold. One, two. Your spine straight. Four, five. Now, slowly lower. Unclasp your hands and rest your hands on your knees. Now, to relieve stiffness and tensions in the neck, we'll do the neck roll movements. Incidentally, friends, this movement can be done anywhere, even during your work if necessary, to help relieve neck discomfort that occurs so frequently. Now, slowly bend your head forward and allow your chin to rest against your chest, as in figure 60. Hold this position for five. Just let those neck muscles pull there. One, two, three, four, five. Now, slowly roll your head, slowly roll your head to your extreme left, as in figure 61. Hold. One, two, all the way. Three, all the way to your left now. Five. Okay. Now, Slowly roll your head to the extreme backward position, as in figure 62, way back, and hold. Two, three, four, five. Now, slowly roll to the extreme right, and hold. Two, three, way over to the right, five. And now, slowly roll to the forward position once again, and hold. Two, three, four, five. Okay, now let's repeat. And keep in mind, friends, that it is the slow movements and the holds in the extreme positions that relieve stiffness. Ready? Slowly roll to the left and hold. Two, three, four, five. Slowly roll to the backward position and hold way back. Two, Three, four, five. Slowly roll to the extreme right and hold. Two, three, four, five. And slowly roll forward and hold. Two, three, four, five. Now the same movements in the opposite direction. Ready? Now slowly roll to your extreme right and hold. Two, Three, four, five. Now roll back and hold. Two, feel it pulling at the throat. Way back. Four, five. Now slowly roll to the left, extreme left, and hold. Two, three, four, five. Now slowly roll forward and hold. Two, three, four, five. And now a last time. Ready? Slowly roll to the right and hold. Two, three, four, five. Slowly roll back and hold. Two, three, four, five. Slowly roll to the left and hold. Two. You can keep your eyes closed throughout this exercise. It's extremely relaxing. Slowly roll forward and hold. Two, three, four, five. Good. Now, for the face, the lion exercise. Change your sitting position so that you now sit on your heels and you rest your hands on your legs as in figure 63. Now, do the following. Move your trunk forward. Ready? Do that now. Move your trunk forward. Now open your eyes as wide as possible. Now tense all the muscles throughout your body. I want you to become stiff for a moment. Now spread your fingers wide and hold them tense. Now extend your tongue as far out and down as you can, as if you would touch your chin with it. 
and feel every muscle in your face and neck become tense. It's one of the few real tense movements we do. All of these movements are depicted in figure 64, friends. Now, hold this tense position for 15 seconds. Two, three, four. Now your tongue is out very far. Seven, eight. Your eyes are very wide. 10, 11, and your fingers are spread wide. 13, 14, 15. Now, very slowly, bring your tongue back into your mouth and allow all of your muscles to relax. And now slowly settle back on your heels in the starting position again. You know, friends, the lion has the ability to relieve tension and it acts as an excellent toning and refresher technique. You see, with the lion, we're able to exercise and stimulate areas of the face and the throat and the neck that we're unable to reach during our ordinary day's activities. Now, let's repeat. Ready? Move your trunk forward. Do that now. Move your trunk forward. Open your eyes as wide as possible. Tense all the muscles throughout your body. Spread your fingers wide and hold them tense. Good exercise for the fingers. Now, extend your tongue out and down as far as you can, and you must feel every muscle in your face and neck become tense. Hold without motion. Two, three, remember this is for 15. Five, your tongue is out as far as you can. Eight, and your eyes are wide. 10, 11, keep the fingers spread. 13, 14, 15, good. Now, very slowly withdraw your tongue. Allow all the muscles to relax slowly, and now slowly settle back on your heels. You know, the lion helps to prevent sagging face and neck muscles, and it improves the appearance of the skin by aiding the circulation in the face area. Also, friends, the lion will often reduce wrinkles and crow's feet in the eye area. So don't be afraid to stick your tongue out as far as you can and make a ferocious face because the greater the stretch, the more benefit usually derived. So make sure you feel every muscle in your neck and your face grow tense during the posture. All right, now let's repeat once more. Your best effort this time, and this last time will hold for 30 seconds. Ready? Move your trunk forward, eyes wide as possible, all muscles throughout the body tensed, Fingers spread wide. Now, tongue comes way out and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, the tongue is way out. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. The eyes are wide. 20, 21. And your fingers are spread and all muscles tensed. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Good. Now slowly withdraw your tongue, very slowly. All muscles relax, and now come back into the half or full lotus seated position. To help in the care of your eyes, the eye exercise. Now, as in figure 65, widen the eye sockets. Now, move your eyes to the extreme top of the sockets and hold. Sit erect. Now, as in figure 66, roll your eyes to your extreme right and hold. Keep your sockets wide. Now. Roll your eyes to the extreme bottom position, as though you were looking at your chin, way down. Hold. Now, roll to the extreme left, and hold. Now, come back to the top position. All right, now, just relax your eyes for a moment. Friends, this is a very important movement. The eye exercise will help to relieve tension that accumulates in the area of the eyes, and it will help to strengthen the muscles. Now, as you move your eyes to the four positions in this exercise, the top, the right, and down, and the left, and so forth, keep the sockets wide 
and make sure that the eyes roll to the extreme position so that the muscles really work. Now, we're going to perform five rounds of this exercise in the clockwise direction, as we just did, and then five rounds counterclockwise. Ready? Widen your sockets, as before. Sit erect, friends. And now, move your eyes to the extreme top position. Hold. Now, roll to the right. Hold. Roll down. Hold. Roll to the left. Hold. Roll up. Hold. Roll right. Hold. Roll down. Hold. Roll left. Hold. Roll up. Hold. Roll right. Hold. Roll down. Hold. Roll left. Hold. Roll up. Hold. Roll right. Hold. Roll down. Hold. Roll left. Hold. Roll up. Hold. Roll right, hold, roll down, hold, roll left, hold, roll up, hold, good. That's five. Now, relax and close your eyes for a moment. Remember, friends, that only your eyes move in this exercise. Don't move your head. And remember to keep the sockets wide. All right. Now we'll perform five rounds counterclockwise. So... Now open your eyes, widen the sockets, sit erect. Now move your eyes to the extreme top, hold, left, hold, down, hold, right, hold, up, hold, left, hold, down, hold, right, hold, up, left, down, right. Up, don't move your head. Left, down, right. Up, left, down, right. Now, close your eyes and relax. Now, a brief movement for scalp stimulation that will aid in the healthful appearance of your hair. Now, as in figure 67, use both hands to firmly grasp as much of your hair as possible. Do that now and get a good grip. Now the idea is to pull the hair forward and back so that your scalp moves as much as possible and I've attempted to give you an idea of this movement in figure 68. Now, don't be afraid to pull hard. Ready? Now, pull forward, back, 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 forward, back. Now, bring your hands down and relax. And now, a modified headstand position that will be of great value to you. You should try to fit this posture into your practice at least every other day. I've often told you of the great benefits of bringing the blood into the head. Now remember, you'll need a small pillow for your head in this exercise. Now, as in figure 69, sit on your heels. And now, interlace your fingers. Now, slowly bend forward and rest your hands and forearms on the floor. Also, rest your toes on the floor. Make sure you're in the position of figure 70. You can glance at that now if you have to. Now, lower your head to the floor and place it on your pillow in such a way that the top of your head rests on the pillow and the back of your head 
rests against your clasped hands. Now, until you're absolutely sure of this position, friends, refer to figure 71. Now, as in figure 72, push up with your toes and raise your entire body. So, now you have made an arc with your body, and the greater the arc, the better. Now, this is a modified position of the headstand, and may be all you wish to do at present. So simply hold your position now, without movement, for the next two minutes, which I'm timing for you, as of now. If you can do a more advanced position of the headstand, which you could learn from our television programs or from your yoga exercise book too, then assume that more advanced position now and hold. Now, if the two minutes I'm counting are at any time too many for you, simply stop whenever necessary. 35 seconds have now passed. Nothing else can so quickly revitalize the brain as bringing the blood directly into the head, as we're doing here. The headstand has often brought about improvement in vision, hearing, and breathing. All right, one minute has now elapsed. Remember to use a small pillow under your head to prevent soreness to the head and neck. In the first few attempts, you may feel dizzy or somewhat uncomfortable, but after about a week of practice, this feeling almost always disappears and never returns. In a few moments, friends, we'll be coming out of this posture. It is important that whatever position you're in, you lower your body very slowly to the floor, maintaining complete control. Always rest by keeping your head and your knees on the floor for several moments. Never, never jump up immediately because the sudden change can make you dizzy. All right, two minutes have now elapsed. If you are an advanced student, you can stay in the headstand as long as is comfortable, up to 10 minutes. Otherwise, now slowly lower your knees to the floor, keep your head down, and relax in that position for a few moments. Now, slowly come up into a seated, cross-legged position and relax. 